Ooh, oh, wow, that was marvelous. That was powerful. A renewal of the divine power just fell on me and added new blessings. So I pray, my friend, that you will get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing to follow you right now. Get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing. I'm going to tell you how. Oh, yes. You can have the blessing that you are ready for. Oh, my Lord, I'm ready for a lot of blessings. <clears throat> I'm not just ready for a few blessings. I'm ready for the whole river to begin to flow off and you know, the whole oceans of healing power to follow me at once. The Niagara, I want to be just like I'm <clears throat> standing under the Niagara Falls and the whole thing coming down. All of that powerful water of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, I'll be shook all over, and I'll shake all over, and then I'll get up, and I'll run, and I'll jump the pews and dance, and I'll speak in every kind of spiritual language. Oh, yes, and I'll follow, amen, praise the Lord, and it's going to be so wonderful. Oh, you can get ready for that blessing now if you're only willing to get ready. It's not any telling what for your blessing will take. You may find yourself running 10 miles and not even noticing any loss of energy. You don't know what God can do. I've seen him do things that are much more miraculous than that. You may get healed of every single thing that has bothered you. You may Oh, you may even get a whole bag full of money. You don't know what God can do. God can do so many things, but he's so uh, he's so t uh, his hands are so tied because we let our expectations get so low and we do not spend time raising our expectations. We do not spend time seeking for more blessing. He said, seek and you shall find. And then we can begin. To, what he means is to begin to expect more and you'll get more. Be ready for more and you'll get more. Oh, yes. It's going to happen for you. It's going to happen for you. And you need to be ready for it. And you need to. It's going to happen for us all. It's going to be in your life. That presence of God is going to be mighty. It's going to bring forth rivers of healing power. When it's going to flow mightily without you. And it's going to, uh, from without it, from within you outward to the world and heal the world. And God's going to make you a mighty, a mighty ordained leader. God's going to ordain you to go forth as a mighty healer into this world to begin to rectify all the damage that has been done by the ill-conceived conceptions of evil people who have tried to put in uh, methods of dealing with things that are just ill-conceived and illusional. And we are going to begin to see the righteousness of God fall on this country. We're going to begin to see the righteousness of a, a revival to begin to a revival of righteousness, a, revi a revival of the standards, a revival of the old landmarks, a revival, oh yes, of the power of the blood of Jesus to save. We, uh, the power of the understanding that is of the blood of Jesus and how much power is in that blood of Jesus to, to raise people up, heal people, put them on the right track. Oh, yes, it's so powerful. Powerful, and we're going to see that revive, and you're going to see you're going to be part of that blessing. And oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a blessing every single day. What a wonderful blessing. What a wonderful blessing. What a wonderful blessing I see for you right now. Oh, yes, it's coming your way, my friend. It's coming your way. You need to get ready for it. You need to get into a receptive spirit. Go into your prayer room and get into a receptive spirit uh, and begin to receive your blessing that's headed your way. We are sending you that blessing. All the holy angels and all of the uh, the divine and divinity and the power of God is 
behind sending you every blessing that you need and cannot be held back unless you lift up your unless you put up your hands against it unless you put up your consciousness against it oh yes a blessing is gonna be mighty the blessing is gonna be miraculous it's gonna fall on you it's gonna fall right on you and watch across you and deal with all your problems and deal with all your needs and meet all of your uh, lack all of the all of your uh, consciousness of lack that is going on in your life that you don't have what you need all that's going to be met your needs will be met you will be taken care of in a way that you cannot even believe at this point you don't have the vision right now you know we uh, it takes a while to get the vision you don't even have the vision right now to understand what all god can do until you really spend a lot of time in your prayer room asking for that vision to see what all god is and what all god can do and so we need to prepare our hearts and our mind and our consciousness for more blessing in order to receive more blessing. You have what you're ready for. You have what your consciousness says you're ready for. You have what you're willing to lift your mind and, and spirit to receive. And so let us realize now. Oh, that God is a God of mind and power, and God is a God that contains all healing. God is a God that contains all joy. Anything that is joyful that comes under the word joy, God has that right now for you, and God is that, and God embodies that, and he wants you to embody it. See, God wants us to embody all joy. That is his sincerest desire for you to embody all joy. All joy till you sparkle all over. That is his sincere desire that you embody all love until you see uh, the love of God in every person. You see the love of God in every person's eyes. You see the love of God in every person's uh, uh, in every person's uh, a desire for more good in their life. Every person who is hungry or every person who is wanting more prosperity or every, any person that wants healing, you see the love of God shining from their eyes uh, and the love of God is in them powerfully and you begin to see that. You begin to notice that and you begin to notice their soul. You begin to see their soul and understand what they're about and you begin to see that God loves them more than you could ever imagine and so you begin to get that healing power flowing to them because that is the will of God and that joy that you gain from doing that is part of the blessing that God is wanting beyond all things for you to feel he wants you to feel that joy of sending that healing power and seeing that person raised up he wants you to see that he wants you to be blessed by that that is the whole point of the good news that comes to us from Jesus and from God the Father every day is that I, the God is saying, I want you to have all of these blessings that come from doing all this good in the world, from seeing all this good happening. I want you to have all the blessings of seeing people raised up out of poverty, seeing people raised up out of, out of oppression and depression. Uh, and raised up out of the ditch that they've got themselves out of, out of the, up out of the miry clay that they've fallen into, out of the quicksand that they've let their life get into, out of all of the things they've let themselves get caught up into, all of the addictions they may have, all of the problems that they have uh, in their life that is causing them to be held back from all of these blessings. It is the joy, the, 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 the overwhelming desire of God that you are able to see that happening <clears throat> see them being coming up out of that miry clay and receiving a radiance in their face that outshines the sun that's what happens they're in the miry clay they're full uh, they're in the quicksand falling more and more into it they've got mud and dirt all over them but when they but they come up out of that and their face shines brighter than the noonday sun and you'll see that and you'll see that renewal of radiance and blessing in their life and that is the joy that god strives above all things to give us in our life to see that and that's why he gives us the double portion of the holy spirit so that we can go about doing that good and be able to have that joy of seeing those things happen so i want to pray for you right now 
that you will begin to get that vision and that you will begin to be healed in every aspect of your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and you'll be able to get the divine anointing in every way to do every good thing that God has for you in the full array of good and get in the arena and, and accomplish all the good God wants you to God, accomplish in your life right now. Yeah, that's right now. I send the power of God to you and the blessings of God to you in the name of, of our precious Lord Jesus. Amen and amen and amen and go and get your blessing. Get in that prayer room now and get your